Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the gas station. All right, today we got the bottom end here. We're gonna assemble it. All the surfaces are clean right now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna wipe this stuff down as we go through, but the surfaces are clean, and we're gonna put it together. Um, I may or may not bolt the heads at the very end, but we'll get it all assembled today. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for liking and subscribing while you guys are here. And if you guys are really about it, go and uh, share it with your friend or someone. But please like and subscribe while you're here if you get any information that's relevant to you in this video. Um, with that said, I appreciate you guys for stopping by, checking it out, and uh, let's get right into it. Anyways, this is more of just the garage build, guys, and um, we're going to put it together. But, I just want to let you guys know, I did clean off these corners, so it is going to be a little bit different. Um, I want to take a second to apologize that this video was really messed up. Uh, my GoPro heated up every time it heats up for some reason and it's on too long. The voice record, the recording on my mic gets all messed up. Plus, my mic was only plugged in half of the way on this video. So I had some real issues and that will happen in the future and um, I may start using a different camera. I don't like the issue with um, having the camera heat up and having issues with the, the voice. So, But what I was talking about with the piston was there was a little bit of wear on the jugs. So um, there was the, with the sign of indication of wear, I just rounded off those four corners that looked like it was wearing on the piston. I did show um, the manufacturer of the piston. They said that whoever was uh, making the pistons for him at the time maybe had a bad machinist. So he even looked in the paperwork to see what year it was and who the machinist was working at the time. But regardless of the situation, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I had just some issues with the recording and the, and the footage of this part of the video. What I'm doing right here is I'm putting in the safety pins inside of the um, piston on the corners of them. And while I'm doing this, um, I always trip out. I never know if they're all the way in or not. So I push the, the ring clip, um, I push the ring clip inside the groove as best as I can with the, with the screwdriver and I just kind of push and wedge it in there and then afterwards I put a little bit of oil is what I'm doing here and I just wiggle it back and forth to make sure that everything's proper. And you can kind of even knock it back and forth to make sure that, uh, not too hard, but make sure that all your rings and everything is set in place. What I'm doing here is um, log tight, obviously. Uh, this day I did not have my proper tools on me. Uh, I should have had a baby pipe wrench and torque these to spec before. You see, I put on this uh, little wrench on there. That wasn't the best idea, but um, got them on. As you can see, I'm eating like a damn savage. Always remember to be gentle when you lay your piston down on the side of the case, as you don't want to mess up the aluminum and then have a bad seal on your O-ring on the jug. So when you lay those pistons down, the bone of that piston uh, or your crank, make sure you lay that on that case very gently so you don't mess up that aluminum. Now this right here was some old Avenue tweaker shit right here I had to throw down for you. The zip ties and it was just something new. I didn't have somebody to help me and I was just I had a thought in my head, I said, hey, maybe this would be kind of cool. So I tried, as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of grease on the O-ring. You can use uh, whatever kind of sealant, silicone, or 
whatever you fuck you want to use on it or whatever the book says. I like a little bit of grease on there or oil. Um, I already had this thing washed the fuck up. It was really clean. I went through it a hundred times with rags and WD-40 and cleaner and uh, brake cleaner. And it was really clean. So I'm just laying the jug on top of the studs, but there's too much weight up on top, so I gotta shove it on my shoulder. And what I'm doing is I'm just using my fingers and making sure each ring gap is in different spots of the next um, ring gap so they're not in line with each other. And I'm just trying to shove it together with my fingers, pinch the ring together and shove it up at the same time. And I might have a little bit of WD-40 lube in there to help me, but pretty much just using my fingers and wedging it in there and making sure that everything is, uh, goes back and forth uh, really nicely and all the rings and shit are set and making sure that, you know, you, you have to really make sure that the small ones uh, that go for the, the oil wiper or whatever, you have to make sure that those ones are um, not all cattywampus. So you, you, you gotta eyeball them and just pay attention. It's real simple. You see me with a screwdriver, but there's no reason to be alarmed right here. I'm just verifying that those clips that are in there are really shoved into those grooves. I really like to make sure that, you know, if I see something that just looks off, I'll make sure that those things are shoved and then it's not like, I'll even use a hammer and try to tap them in there. I just like to double check and make sure. <laughs> so right here I should be using a pipe wrench or some sort of wrench and torquing it, you know, pretty good to spec. But as you can see right here, this is my video freezing so I had to chop it off. But I had a lot of issues with the video freezing so I put that little clip in there to show you guys. Right here I'm just blowing out the little dust particles, making sure everything's nice and clean, just like always. Um, verifying my camera's still on, checking my own self out. And, you know, I wanted everybody to be able to see, but my camera didn't get froze again. So, I had to chop the footage. But, uh, I got got my gasket on there and then we'll just go like almost forgot it actually I was just making sure I knew which way the head was gonna go nice and clean make sure there's no pieces of plastic or anything on there and that's it after this I you know I went to go torque it up so uh but it just got all messed up.